Hey there everybody, it's your boy Z-Man welcoming you to part 24 of our Pokemon Black Let's Play. And I know that in the last part I said we were going to go take on this gym, but I realized that we are not nearly ready to face that gym. And when I say realized, I mean I got my butt kicked by Elisa. That jerk. But anyway, we're going to actually come... Now let's go north. Let's head up here and check out what's going on around here. We've got ourselves some stuff we can do. If we come this way, there should be... We're going the wrong way, aren't we? Hold on. I want to go... Over here, this... Now, there are three buildings over here. This one is the Pokemon Musical. In the Musical Theater, that's where you can go to compete in Pokemon Musical. This is the big stadium where there can either be baseball, soccer, or football players. And over here is the small courts where they play tennis and basketball. Let's go ahead and start... Oh wait, Bianca's gonna stop us because I went too far left. Yoo-hoozy! I just had a look at the musical theater. It's so cool! Since you're here, come on, Z. Come on with me. Over here, over here. I don't want to. Leave me alone. Oh, she's gonna make us look at the musical theater. So I guess we're going to the musical theater first, and... There's a few things you can get here, none of which are very useful unless you want to be in the musical. Uh, which I do not, so I really don't want any of this stuff. But, you come in here, and this guy's like, Oh my goodness, it's a person! Hello, you two. How do you do? I'm the owner of this theater. Pleasure to meet you. And he comes over here, and he... Oh, I must say that you two seem like phenomenal trainers. What do we do here? We use props to make your Pokemon fashionable and glamorous. Do you want to join and play dress up? To get started, here's a prop case. And he gives us and Bianca a prop case, and you need the prop case in order to get other uh, props such as tiaras and crowns and uh, winners. Well, the winner's belt is something else. But you can also get props from the fans that are watching your musicals. The prop case lets you store props for decorating your Pokemon. First off, you need to pick a Pokemon. I don't want to pick a Pokemon. Leave me alone. And I didn't dress it up at all. Oh, I get it. I didn't put anything on it. But anyway, if we go talk to the receptionist up there, she's going to have us join the musical, which I don't want to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. Doing the musical would be totally cool, but there's other stuff I want to do. Okay, that's it. I made up my mind. I'm going to go see the sights of Nimbasa. See ya, Z. And trust me, I do not want to play dress up with my Pokemon, so we're going to leave. That was a displeas unpleasant thing that we did. Daddy, what are you doing here? Oh my goodness, it's Bianca's dad! I've come to take you back home, of course. Your, mo your mother told me that you made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? No way! I'm going to keep traveling with Z and my Pokemon. Keep me out of this, Bianca. Absolutely not. Others do things their way, and we do things ours. Is that so? And how about you tell me, how about you do things the way, your way, and I'll do things mine? Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Oh wait, that's Zelesa. <laughs> Wrong voice. Hey, who do you think you are? This is a family matter. My name is Elisa. I'm this town's jam leader, and I also happen to be a model. You really needed to say that, didn't you? Being the gym leader wasn't enough. You have to tell them that you're a model. Come on. You know there are many people in this world. You, there are people whose way of thinking may be completely different from yours, and I can't read. It's amazing. Sometimes this means you may get hurt. Of course. That's exactly right. That's because I'm worried about you that... But it's important to keep trying and to learn the differences between yourself and others. To learn that being different is okay. And you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokemon at their side. Pokemon are wonderful. It's not only how cute they can be, but also how much you can depend on them. And Bianca's gonna say stuff like, Hey, don't make me go home. I want to keep traveling with my Pokemon. This cutscene is boring me. And he finally comes to the realization, Okay, I'll let you tra travel with your Pokemon. 
Oh my goodness, I'm getting, I'm like, almost falling asleep from this. I was surprised to find I'm the one being childish at my age. Wow. The gym leader's comments helped me wake up. Congratulations, you're awake. Can we, can I go now? Can I go to the courts? Yes, I'll take care of her. It's fine. Go home. And Bianca, don't talk to me. I think we're done. No, not quite. I'm sure he traveled as a trainer himself in the past. Being a parent must be hard. Did I meddle unnecessarily? You look troubled, so I decided to ch chime in. By the way, if you're trainers, please stop by my the Pokemon gym. You don't recognize me? All my Pokemon are dead because of you, Alesa. I'll teach you a little something about how tough a journey can get. Oh my goodness. She's so cool. Yes, she is. Okay, so can I leave now? Stop talking to me. Yeah, no, let me leave. I wonder how I'll get there. Well, before that, I guess I need to discover what I really want to do. See you later, Z. And we're finally free to move and get away from that evil cutscene. But we want to talk to... Not that guy. We want to come in here. This is the big stadium, because it's big, as you can see. And we talked to our football players who are practicing in the big stadium right now. People can watch them practicing. Since it's autumn right now, they're playing football, of course. And we just have to come in here. And this takes us straight down to the field, where we can get in some action. Ready, sit. Ready, sit. Hut. Okay, so forget that. But, the first time you come in here, if you're not very leveled up, there's going to be one football player here who's got a Pokemon. And... Actually, I've got to do something, so I'll be right back. Alright, so basically it's useful to have your Pokemon, you know, healed when you go into a battle. So that's what I was doing. And now we can talk to this football player. Power! Power is essential for both Pokemon and football. And we're going to battle this football player. I believe it's going to be Linebacker. All of these guys are named Linebacker, even though they're in three-point stances, which would make them either linemen or defensive linemen. Basically linemen. But he's going to send out a Darumaka, which is an awesome thing because I need to get warts to evolve, hopefully, before we can, before I want to start the next battle. So let's use a Bubble Beam, which is going to be super effective. And he's going to use... Oh my goodness. That did way more damage than I wanted it to. But we can take one more shot at Darumaka and defeat him, and Darumaka's going to faint. We're going to gain 238 experience points. He's going to send out Timber. Let's switch our Pokemon. No, let's keep our Pokemon in there. And then we're going to switch out in a little bit. Here comes Timber, level 24. We're going to switch to Luna. Let her get some more experience. Go, Luna. Come on. Alright, since you know he's going to use Chip Away, which is a not a fighting type move, we're going to use Psy Beam because. Uh, fighting type Pokemon are weak to psychic types, so the side beam should be super effective. Hopefully, it'll do enough to not quite, but still, quite a bit of damage. One more side beam. Nope, chip away. That didn't do too much. One more side beam. Take him down. Boom. Got the timber. Timber fainted. Luna's gaining some experience. And she grew to level 24. And Wart's also gonna get some experience from that. And we defeated linebacker Dan. No, you did not. We got $4,800 from him. That's what you love about the amulet coin. And since there's no one else to even battle here, you can search that entire field. There's no one else to battle. We're going to go ahead and leave the big stadium. And head over here to the small court. So, uh, let's head on. And of course, you can, as you can see down by that little portal thing, they're playing basketball right now. First rank hoopsters are waiting for you on the court with their Pokemon. And we've got some bas we got a basketball player down there just waiting for us to kick his butt. First, we gotta come over here and shoot the hoop. I'll get the rebound, don't worry. Never mind. But anyway, we come down here, we talk to this guy. I'm still a rookie, but I want to be a great player someday. I'll improve by having a lot of Pokemon battles. Or, you know, practicing basketball, that'd be good too. Or we're gonna start a fight with basketball player. What's his name? Hoopster Bobby. 
He's got only one Pokemon, and it is a Whirlipede. Huh, level 25 Whirlipede. Gotta think about this. Let's use some Bubble Beamage. Hopefully this will do a good amount of damage. Not much at all. Okay, this is going to be a difficult one. And Bug Bite was critical hit. Oh, that is unfair. I hate you. Let's use Lou to punch this bug. Or Rock Smash it. Throw down a Rock Smash. That'll work. Uh, that I mean a Rock Throw. That should work, hopefully. Use Poison Tail. Which is going to do not very much damage. Still, it could have poisoned me, which would have been bad. There's the Rock Throw. Super effective. Let's throw another Rock at it. Because throwing rocks is awesome. Especially at bugs. And he got another critical hit. That is unfair. Stop doing that. He got another super effective. We're not going to get off this rock throw, unfortunately. Yep, there's the poison tail. That's going to beat us. Got to figure out who wants the experience here. Let's use... Let's let Mac get the experience. For this Whirlipede here. Uh, fire punch it. Use poison tail. So all my Pokemon are so slow, unfortunately. Here's another fire punch. How did you get another critical hit? Is Poison Tail seriously like a critical hit monster? Well, at least I got a critical hit on that fire punch. We took down Whirlipede, and Mac gained some experience, and so did Luna. We defeated Hoopster Bobby. And we got $5,000 for doing so, because, you know, these people are rich. They play basketball for a living. And so I've shown you the small court and the big stadium, which is both a very good thing. We can now head this way to... Oh, yes, I want to keep going this way. We're going to go to the Pokemon Gym right now, I guess. Alright, so first, I will be right back. Alright, now I'm ready to go in. Let's go in using the black screen to change nothing. But, wait a minute. What is Pikachu doing here? There are no wild Pikachu in this region. Why is Pikachu everywhere? Doesn't make any sense. By the way, we're here. We're at the gym. And we'll get started on the gym. We'll, we'll do one battle just to show you what's going on. And as you can see, this place is basically roller coasters. It is the cool... It's not the coolest. I'd say it's the second coolest gym in the entire game. There's one gym that's awesome. Would you ever guess that this gym is a roller coaster? Okay, let me fill you in. And take this too. And he's going to give us the fresh water, like always. If you talk to that guy, anytime you see him, he'll give you a fresh water. Except for, well, once per gym. There's eight, eight gyms. You get eight fresh waters from this guy. In this roller coaster gym, the first step is to get in the car. Wow. Next comes the platform. There you can change where the roller coaster is going. Sometimes you continue by riding the cars of the opponent you defeat. That's how you aim for the gym leader. By the way, electric type Pokemon don't do well against ground type moves. Good thing I have one. Oh, come on. Just missed it. Uh, I'm going to have one ground type Pokemon eventually. And because, you know, ground type Pokemon don't have. Uh, will have zero damage against electric type Pokemon, it's going to be very good. But, unfortunately, I'm going to show you pretty soon. You need to step on that switch. But of course, to get to that switch, we gotta beat this lady. Oh my goodness! Her fashion sense—it's kind of Nuvema Town-ish. Wow, she could she could guess where I was from just by looking at my clothes. How awesome is that? Anyway, we're gonna be fighting Lady Magnolia, the flower lady, and she's gonna send out an Emolga. And Emolga is an electric flying type, which is not good because flying types are unaffected by ground type moves. They are super affected against, and he's going to use Pursuit, which is a dark type move, even though it's weak against fighting type Pokemon. That never makes sense. Just use your freaking spark or whatever you've got. But the Rock Throw is going to be super effective against these Emolgas, so Lou is going to help me out a little bit here, and it's going to use, it's going to, she's going to start spamming Double Team, isn't she? Evasiveness is going to rise, and if we don't beat this thing fast enough, it's going to get too evasive, and we're never going to hit it. Yep, it's just going to spam double team the entire time. Please hit. Please hit. Okay, we hit the, with the rock throw. We took down the Emolga. 
But the thing about Emolga is, of course, they're flying types, so ground types, ground attacks, which would normally be super effective against uh, electric types, is not going to be very effective against these guys. She's going to send out another Emolga. But the, and even though it does have a pretty good type for what it is, unfortunately, oh my goodness, use Pursuit again. Why would you do that? You have electric attacks. We're just going to keep using Rock Throw on this thing. But the thing about Emolga is, even though it does have a very good type, this is the only evolution of it. There are no pre-evolutions, there's no post-evolutions. This is the only, uh, only in the line of the Emolga. And it's not very strong, but with its type, it's not a terrible Pokemon to get. I j I'm just not going to pick it up. I've got a better, I've got a better Pokemon that I want in mind. And he avoided my Rock Throw. Come on, one more Rock Throw and we can end this part. And it's going to use Pursuit, which isn't going to be very effective. If you've used Pursuit every time, use a freaking electric attack against, you know, a fighting type Pokemon. We defeated Molga. And we gained 590 experience points and Lou grew to level 23. Nice. Got Lou up and Ward gained some experience and Ward grew to level 24. Awesomeness. If we can get Ward to evolve this battle, uh, this gym will be a lot easier. And you get a bunch of money for defeating ladies, and uh, we'll soon be meeting the rich boys. But eventually, essentially what you have to do in this gym, you press the switch, and as you can see, the track changed. The little dotted lines are where the car is going to go. So we've changed the path of the roller coaster, and we are ready to continue on with the gym. But we're going to save that for the next part. So thank you for watching part 24, and I will defeat Elisa in the next part.